Good afternoon, everybody, and, and welcome to today's webinar uh, from Playmore Golf. Uh, today, we're going to be looking at uh, how Playmore Golf marketing support can help you to grow your club membership. My name's David Long, and uh, today I'm going to be your uh, presenter, and um, I'm the marketing director here at Playmore Golf, and I've been with the company for a little over seven months now. And my team's uh, key responsibilities are split twofold, one between promoting the flexible membership model to golfers, and then obviously promoting Playmore Golf as a solution for new partner clubs such as yourselves. A little bit about me, I've got over 35 years of marketing experience uh, and, and I've worked primarily with uh, a wide range of organisations and for a while, for three years, I ran a marketing agency out in Paris. So a little bit more about Playmore Golf. We have um, over 200 partner clubs across the UK, primarily uh, in England, but we can spread across Wales and Scotland as well. And we also have some partner clubs overseas. And in the UK, we have over 13,000 member golfers, and that's growing on a monthly basis. And today, what I want to talk to you about is really how our marketing activities can help you grow your club membership. So what are, we, what are all the things that we're doing in the background to promote the flexible membership offering out to the golfing community and driving new members into your clubs. So first off, I want to say, look, we, you know, we have a dedicate, dedicated team of marketeers who are focused on promoting your golf club to local golf golfers. We look at that from a perspective of driving new, new inquiries for membership, but we also focus on membership member retention. So once somebody's joined the Flexible Membership Programme, we have a range of activities that we'll deploy to ensure that they stay, that they're using their points, and then actually at the end of the year, their year, they want to stay a Flexible Membership with you. It's interesting to note, funny enough, where we do lose memberships, over a third of our members who leave Playmore Golf are actually upgrading to seven-day memberships at their host club. Obviously, we're working on increasing revenue, so driving revenues from infrequent golfers into your club and also driving revenue from your waiting list. So we have a new solution that we've recently, uh, recently launched, which is designed to help you make revenue from the wait list that you have at your club. Now, for example, where I live, there are about seven, seven or eight clubs within a 20-minute drive of where I live, and I'm a member of one of them, and at my club... We like to think that we're happy and that we've got nearly 100 members or golfers waiting on the wait list to become a member. What we don't actually know is how many of the other seven or eight clubs in the area are they also on the wait list? So a wait list product and solution enables you to engage with the golfers on your waiting list, get them, get them onto the course, playing, and actually at that point they start to build a, so, a, a sort of psychological connection to your club and they're more likely to wait until they can actually upgrade at your club as opposed to waiting and, and disappearing off a, to another course. Clearly the other thing that we're very good at is T-sheet utilization. Our point system is designed to help you fill your, your quiet slots. So rather than the sort of bun fight for eight o'clock on a Saturday morning, you know, the points-based solution is actually filling up the quieter afternoon slots weekend and also uh, midweek and our professional marketing support program is all about driving inquiries into the business and into your club and then helping you convert those golfers into members we do a lot of work around demographic and geographic profiling so we look at age gender propensity to play location etc we take those all into account when we're building our program we look at the target audience for flexible membership and how the different type of golfers looking to use your course need to be communicated with, whether they're casual golfers, whether they're, you know, an avid regular golfer, or even the competitor golfers we have, you know. So we take all of that into account and golfers at different parts of their, of their 
their life cycle and their golfing life cycle actually require different types of messaging. And so we might be serving up some content to a casual golfer in their early 30s, or we might be serving up some content to a casual golfer who's in their 50s or 60s, you know, early retirement. They're actually going to get different types of messaging and different types of imagery and so forth. Even though they are a casual golfer, they have very different needs and wants. So the things that we need to take into, into, into play when we're running our programs for you guys is, is, a, is, is, a, is a bunch of key, key points. So we look at the value proposition. So we're highlighting the benefits and value of a flexible golf membership from Play More Golf. And even to the extent of explaining what a flexible membership actually is. We're defining the audience, understanding how, how we can reach them, who they are, how many there are within a, a, a localized uh, spread. So we will run campaigns to promote a club that will only be say 15, 20 kilometer uh, radius of a golf club. People are not going to travel an hour to play a course. They will travel 20 minutes, 25 minutes, but, but not more than that. We look at the communication channels that we need to use, and these differ at different times of the year. So we'll look at social media, we'll look at um, web advertising, we'll look at SEO, we'll look at PR, we'll look at print, all that sort of stuff. We're building up brand awareness, not only of playing more golf, but of obviously your, your course as well. So we make sure that we're consistent with our messaging and our visual identity that reflects your brand as well as our brand. We'll also promote the unique offer that Play More Golf has. So we have a unique competitive advantage in the market in that we are, you know, all we do is flexible golf membership and we're the, the, the market leaders and we're the original We've been doing this for over 10 years. And we have a massive network of over 200 clubs. And the things that we'll push out to, to people is, A, the fact of what flexible membership is, but also if you're a Play More Golf flexible member, you, you know one of the key things that we offer is you, you have flexible membership at your home club, but you also have a number of points that you can then use at other courses. And that's great for the, for the clubs because it's bringing traffic in, extra traffic in from golfers, out and about so all of those extra visitors coming into your club via the play more golf model as bringing in extra food and beverage revenue extra pro shop revenue and so forth and of course we support all that with very clear call to action to encourage players to sign up for our membership this month we launched early this month a, a program we call take the test which is a little tool that people can use online to determine how much benefit and value they get from a play more golf membership that since launch early this month, we've generated over 700 new leads just from that uh, one activity. So I talk about creating a compelling message. So you can see here's a couple of recent um, Facebook efforts that we've run. And we take your key imagery, your, your you know, the photographs you have from your website, your hero holes, and we'll put them in. So we'll run an advert to promote Pontypool. And we'll use imagery from the course and we'll advertise this in the Pontypool area. Same goes for White Hill Golf Club. You know, Pontypool's been live for uh, uh, a few weeks and I think we're already at six or seven new members just in that very short period of time. So we run localised advertising. So there's a lot of effort going on behind the scenes in terms of getting our content created purely for your club, but also in terms of deliver making sure adverts are only delivered to, to, to players relevant to, to your club. We use a number of platforms and tactics to, to drive awareness. Um, so social media marketing, I've mentioned that already, but we, know we use platforms such as Facebook and Instagram, uh, the two meta platforms, uh, LinkedIn and Twitter to showcase the benefits of uh, flexible membership and also that it's available at your course. We run in email marketing uh, programs. So we have a database of over 80,000 golfers um, who currently are not members, and we obviously have a database of 13,000 13, plus golfers who are members. So we run email marketing programs. So somebody comes into the website via our, uh, our marketing activities, uh, they'll share some of their data with us, their name, their email address, and so forth. And they'll either go through the sales funnel and become a member. And if they don't go all the way through the sales funnel, we then have a, a whole nurturing program of emails uh, and messaging to 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 convert those leads into new golfers. 
We also run a very active referral program, as you can imagine, with 13,000 uh, golfers across the UK. That's an awful lot of golfers who play golf with other people. So we uh, offer current members incentives to refer their friends uh, to become members of the golf club, uh, the, the golf club flexible membership program. And, and that's a really good source of uh, new business. We also run partnership marketing programs and we, we work with major golf brands like uh, Bushnell and Painter and Motor Caddy and a whole host of other, other brands where we're promoting ourselves out to their, their audiences of uh, you know, email lists and uh, customer base and, and vice versa. So there's a, there's a whole level of activity and we're able to offer um, our members um, uh, uh, some great benefits. So you might be 20% off a Motor Caddy um, uh, product at launch, um, it might be uh, a free airdrop golf uh, monthly uh, subscription, that sort of thing. So we're able to offer some real benefits and that's all part of the retention program as well. And then of course, what do we do locally? So we do in-club marketing. So you, you work with us and you know we make available outdoor banners, which you can put out on, uh, on the roadside. We've got indoor pop-up banners so you can capture the attention of all the people who are coming in as um, society golfers and visitors. And then that's supported with leaflets and so forth. And all that's co-branded between Playmore Golf and yourselves. We use social media in a number of different ways uh, to, to reach out to, to new golfers. So we share testimonials from happy customers. You know, this month alone, I think we've got 24 or 25 five-star reviews on Trustpilot. We have hundreds and hundreds of five-star reviews uh, on, on Trustpilot that we're able to dig into, and we can, we can um, use that to, to demonstrate that social proof that actually it's a really great experience, they're really good guys to work with. It works for me as a, as a golfer. We run social media contests and giveaways uh, that encourage engagement to our audiences. And of course, that helps us build up our mailing lists and so forth, which then helps us do more email marketing out to the, out to, to the golf community. We collaborate with influencers um, on, uh, as well. So we just earlier this week, we had a uh, we did a live video uh, shoot of a round of golf over at the Asprey uh, Golf Club with a couple of social media uh, golf influencers. That went down really well. Loads of engagement on social media platforms from that. And also we use social media advertising, as I've mentioned before, to target specific demographics and dr drive signups for, for golfers in your locality. Here's an example of one of the ads that we were running in March, and I'll, I'll, I'll come on to uh, March in a minute about what, what happened there. But we use digital advertising, we use Google Pay Per Click, we use Google Content Network, we do con Google Remarketing, and we use Facebook and we use Instagram. They're our key platforms. We're moving into using a number of uh, other uh, online golf titles. So we're reaching out even to a wider audience um, so that we're constantly presenting the Play More Golf Flexible membership and membership at your golf club to people as it's relevant. So we'll be in a position where we can run advertising on different websites to people who just visited your golf club, for example, without them actually telling us that they visited their golf club. So using some clever, um, you know, uh, 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 back-end analysis of what goes on, what people are doing to, to drive meshing out to, to, to a wider audience. I mentioned collaboration, so I want to focus this specifically on one we're running right now. Really, really, we've just launched this one with VPAR, and we're running a program with VPAR um, called the Play More Golf Challenge. It's encouraging golfers to play more golf. As you imagine. It's open to play more golf uh, members, but it's also open to anybody on VPAR, and that's 240,000 um, users in the UK. So that's that's a, a huge opportunity to spread the, the play more golf word. And then as we build up our database from that, we're able to then put marketing out to those individuals about joining a club closer to where they uh, where they live. And we're sharing that data in a completely compliant and open manner, but but it's all about spreading the word in a safe and controlled environment. I mentioned about lead generation, I mentioned about March. So we've been talking about lead generation. So 
Here's, here's the live data of leads generated uh, this year. So January and February, fairly low compared to uh, March and April, but we didn't do a lot of marketing in January and February because the course is very wet, lots of courses shut. So we, we, we reduced our marketing spend and we pushed it back because we, we knew that we, didn't, we weren't going to have a lot of success when it's freezing cold and courses are shut. People aren't going to sign up for membership. But we still got a really good level of uh, new leads. In March, we upped the ante a little. We generated 1,887 leads and we converted those at a 45% conversion rate. So that's hundreds of new golfers coming into uh, the network uh, in March. April, we're at 2,357 uh, new leads this month as of about one o'clock this afternoon um, and, and similar levels of conversion. And so you can see that we're driving lots of new members in uh, to um, the, the Play More Golf Flexible Membership, which in turn is new golfers out to your clubs. There was a, a piece a couple of weeks ago um, around how some, you know, um, uh, one course operator, a multiple multiple course operator was uh, in Golf Business U saying, well, we're, rec we're seeing loads of golfers leaving and not renewing this year. And that was kind of interesting because we're seeing the opposite. We're seeing a massive up surge in new members. So hopefully that's a little a pricey and oversight of what the, 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 the marketing support that we put in place to support you as a club when you come on board. Um, and at this stage, uh, I'll open the floor to any questions. Okay, so um, guys, thank you for attending. And um, if you want to get, in, we'll be sending a copy of this video out to you guys in the next couple of days. Uh, if you have any further questions, just respond to that email and uh, we look forward to catching up with you soon. Thank you very much. Oh.